Hey you, here's what I really think of Australia. Who will make the cut? Who will win our hearts? MJG Reviews. Mitchell James calling. Welcome back to MJT Reviews. Make sure to subscribe to this channel to see all the reviews for every country, including the jury members on this channel as well with their thoughts. So, this is Australia. Slight disclosure. I am Australian. This is my home country. I am reviewing. So, I will try to detract biasness out of this. But the song is Zero Gravity by Kate Miller Heidke. Zero Gravity I'll start off by saying that there is no music video for this. It's the first time we've never had a music video and I really wish there was. I think they think that it could kind of lose the importance of the song by having a music video and they want to focus on the live stage performance and just keep it at that. But we have a lyric video and the lyric video is very good anyway. The graphics are amazing and match the tone of the song. So it's kind of okay. I was so happy to hear Kate Miller Heidke was one of the contestants in the national selection um, because I've loved her for so long. Her song Words was like the first song I heard from her and it was my favorite song of 2007. I saw her perform it at the ARIA Awards back in 2007 on TV and I straight away went to find the song online and I listened to it on my iPod the whole year and I still listen to, I still listen to words all the time, it's just, I, I, it's a really fun song and it, it really speaks to me. So, I was happy to have her as a contestant. Here are my top three entries from the National Selection of Australia. It was the first time we had a national selection. I did a whole video on that, so just check that out. I love how this song captures your attention right from the start. So it's like, doom, hey you. Doom, doom. Hey you. And I love the use of, there really are four elements in this song, but really three but uh, there's the piano and I love how it's like hard piano. If you know me, you know that I'm a fan of bashing pianos. Like get your fist in it and just bash that piano. So this has hard hitting piano. Then you've got the strings, um, like a harp, I'm thinking it's a harp. And then you've got this beat and synth. And it's crazy, you would think that that combination wouldn't work and that it would be novelty, but they've made it really sophisticated and I'm just in awe. I, many people have tried. And you're the first to succeed, I think, in Eurovision with that combo. There are magical chords at the beginning, like I said in the verse. Uh, it gives me chills when I hear it. The first time I heard it, I was like, oh, oh, what are you doing to me? So it sounds like a sort of a race to me. For some reason I think of like a race or like just that feeling of when your adrenaline is really high and when you are under pressure. That kind of feeling is what I get when I hear the verses of this song. Then it changes into the chorus and the chorus comes in and it reveals that we're getting a classical voice from Kate Miller Heidke. <laughs> Not much of a shock from me because I, many people who know Kate Miller Heidke know that she has that. She doesn't always go there, but I was like, okay, she's giving us like the entire Kate Miller Heidke package here. So that's kind of cool, but I was a little bit concerned from the get-go only because I know a lot of people who don't follow Eurovision will definitely be impressed. But a classical voice is not at any means unique in Eurovision. We've had it, I'm thinking Lavoie, Sweden. <laughs> this It's My Life by Caesar from Romania. <laughs> it's 
My Friend by Jacques from Croatia. And then La Forza from Estonia just last year. But I actually really appreciate the use of classical elements in this song. She's like, it's not really classical. I'm, I'm, I'd be a fraud in the classical realm. But it's like, no, you're very good. So I think what amazes me is how she uses the elements and combines the elements and still makes it fresh, current, and sophisticated. I love the hooky chorus of Z. <laughs> Going with his gravity. Even if you can't sing that, you'll be like zip, 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 zip. like you'll, you'll, you're thinking you're singing it, but you're not. I heard a lot of people be like, oh, and I'm like, that's not, that's not the song at all. But it makes me laugh so much every time I hear people do that. But sure, if that's what you think, it's amazing how people perceive sound. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a great hook and you'll be singing it in your head even if you can't reach the notes. And I love how it segues differently every time. It goes into, it segues so differently. The, the first time she ends the chorus, she's like, Zero gravity. Zero gravity. It's like a storm, bro like coming all together like, like this, like a hurricane's about to hit. And then you've got the second time it just ends and goes into, and it feels like boom. Gravity. And it goes into the next middle section. And so that was really interesting. I really appreciated that. It kind of made this song go on a... Oh, I've got to use the J word. Journey. It's going to go on a journey. And every section occurs. So you get, you still get the first verse, sec chorus, second verse, chorus again. Middle section and kind of end bit and chorus. And that's a full structure. No one else has been able to achieve that yet. They're like... First verse chorus, second verse chorus, and we're done. If, if they do something a little bit different with the segues and all that. So, impressive. In three minutes as well. So you've like, tick, tick, tick. Okay, so, I love how she sings up the scale in the first segue. How she's like, I'm free. Oh. Hey, you. How do you go from high to low? And also you're like, because you're kind of going with her, you're like, okay, yes, I'm free. We're like, the storm is happening. And then you're like, boom, boom, boom. Oh, now we're in the eye of the storm. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm outies. Bye. I can't, I can't deal with it. I had chills up and down my spine. I love that section. That's probably, if I had to say my favorite part of the song, it's that. How she goes from high to low and like, boom, hits you hard. And now we're back at the second verse. You ready? You ready? Because I'm ready. You're late. Okay. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So it's so good. And I feel like she does it all in one breath. It's incredible. And I love the synth supporting it because you've been from like, harp to like swirling and then you're like hey you hey you hey you hey you lock with snow key you like oh my gosh it's just it's like an assault to the senses for sure but in the best of way so the lyrics are nothing short of intriguing. There are a lot of lyrics that are really unique and I think a lot of people that <laughs> I think a lot of people that speak English as a first language are like, hang on, let me relook this lyric thing because the words are uh, kind of there's a lot of metaphors and stuff like that and a lot of people are like, what does this mean? But it actually forces you to understand the meaning of this song. So it's like lock with no key, earth with no sea. What is she talking about? And then you realize she's just absolutely lost you know she is bewildered and she has absolutely no idea how to get out of this funk so i think that really was impressive 
confusion actually gains understanding into the peculiar lyrics for sure. She has a great vocal balance in many ways like she'll crescendo and then she'll be soft and then she'll be able to be soft and loud at the same time. So it's like forte forte forte! So obviously the bit and it feels like and then she sings up 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 and then she goes up really high. Hi, it's my future self here. I'm just editing the video and I totally realized I totally forgot to put a really important thing in this. The bit where she's singing this part where she goes up high and her dynamic is crazy all in one breath and she goes, um, oh, so she starts with vibrato, a lot of vibrato and then she goes into, in this is in one breath, she then goes on the note from a lot of vibrato to a single line and then go kind of dips down all in one breath and vocally blends with not only the music playing but also the backing vocals that are beginning the nothing holding me down part so a little example is how she goes oh much better than that <laughs> That's the example. Anyway, there you go. The part of like, nothing hold me down, nothing hold me down. It's like a celebration. It's like an anthem moment. And I like how are you putting this onto one song? It's like the Bohemian Rhapsody of 2019. And so I love as well how she's like, she sings a beat where she's like, It kind of reminds me of like, this is a, this song just gives me visuals. I keep imagining all these things from her voice in the melody. And so that part just makes me think of a possum flying up and down like electrical wires. So like, and like kind of moving around. I don't know why I think that, but I think that every time I hear that and I absolutely love it. Yeah, all I've written is nothing holding me down. I just love that bit and I think everyone's going to be singing that while she's singing high and you, you end up feeling like you're engaged as a backing singer yourself. Oh, it's going to be incredible. Actually, it makes me wonder how the backing vocals, they're going to need really good backing vocals to match this. Um, I'm thinking like... Dami in Sound of Silence quality backing singers, please, please, please. I love the progressive beat as well. So it's like, there's like, that bit was like nothing holding me down, still going, but then the beat changes into like this progression, like, like this is the final stretch and it's in that like kind of third bar, which I love when it, things progress like that. Do you hold me down? They took a key from Laurel Barker in terms of progression wonder mint and I love it. It's a great end to the song and she resolves the song. The song has a resolution, a musical resolution. Ah, oh, it's a workout <laughs> and it's a stress fest, but in the best of way, Camille Heidke, I'm getting ya. I love it and I really hope it does well. I. I just, uh, I can't wait to see everyone be like, whoa, because I remember when at the national selection I attended and people made that sound. They're like, oh, like they were kind of taken aback. They, they knew what they were getting, but they're like, oh, this song live actually is making me realize it's like a therapy session. So everyone was kind of having like group therapy for three minutes and it was incredible. I loved it. Oh, okay. I'm done. <laughs> uh, I have... On my channel there are jury members, very diverse, we have a British jury member, we have an Australian composer jury member, we have a Vietnamese, uh, young board, new fan, and it's great to see everyone's opinion on the songs because they're completely different to mine. So check out what they think of Australia. Some of them might have non-biased opinions. Uh, so yeah, and subscribe to see all the other reviews for every other country. Until next time, bonsoir Europe, and goodbye. Who will make the cut? Who will win our hearts? MJG.